Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Schaefer and I'm currently a student at James Madison University. Today I'm going to be doing a video log on Empty by K.M. Walton. Wait. Okay, now that I'm back, I apologize for not having my book like here in my hands. It took me maybe two and a half hours to pass it off to someone else, so that's why I'm not going to be like, look at everything I've underlined as I'm like going through my video log. Um, so overall, I personally just absolutely loved and adored Empty. I think that it's a phenomenal book that um, very well touched on many issues that today just seem to be like pushed under the rug or just aren't talked about at all. To kind of like sum up like the book and give a little like insight into it without giving too much away, I'm going to read the, um, part of the author's note. She says, I did not write this book to sensationalize or shock. I intended Dell's story to serve as a window into her soul, the soul of a broken human being. I wanted you, precious reader, to feel the pain of the bullied, the neglected, the heartbroken, and the humiliated. I wanted you to experience the absolute power of words, whether said or typed online. Words count. This book was deep. This is not an easy book to read by any means. It was very emotionally draining. I mean, it goes really in depth with talking about the impacts of divorce on children. It talks about bullying from student to student. It talks about binge eating disorder. It talks about uh, mental illnesses, really facing depression in students. We um, see Dell's mindset behind going into her overdose and eventually going into what's implied to be a suicide. I think there's a certain significance to having books that handle things in a lot more realistic fashions instead of just kind of let's put issues into this book and then give it a happy ending. If you're looking for a book with a happy ending, this was not it. This was not something that ended on a happy note. It was more so like what we would expect to be a realistic ending and not something that I personally found like super satisfying but may not be the best for some people. Um, it's really what you're looking for in a book and what you expect the outcome to be. Fantastic book, covers a lot of different issues and it's something that we can use to really start these conversations and get these conversations about mental health and other struggles going somewhere. Do you think that it was a fantastic book? Yeah. So that's our video log. Comment if you have any questions.